Hi, I'm Ms. Tosolfo, and I'm here to give you some safety tips when returning to the school building. You should stay at least six feet apart from others while you are in the hallway, in the classroom, as well as when you enter and exit the school building. When walking in the hallway, please stay to your right and do not congregate. This will help the traffic flow more smoothly and more safely. Please wear your mask at all times. If your mask breaks, notify a teacher or a school staff and they will provide you with a new one. Wash your hands and use hand sanitizer as often as possible. All bathrooms are open and you will need to sign in. Only one student will be allowed in the bathroom at a time. You will be eating lunch in the classroom with your mask off. When your mask is off, you must remain in your seats. Please listen to your teacher's directions regarding lunch protocol. When you're finished eating, please clean up after yourself. This keeps everybody safe and healthy. If you're feeling sick, please remember to stay home. If you're in school and you feel sick, notify one of your teachers or the school nurse. Hi, I'm Mr. Barenberg, and I'm here to share with you some details about how to enter and exit the building properly. Before you get to school, you must fill out the online survey. You can do this on your phone and take a screenshot. You will show the screenshot to the adult entering the school entrance. If you do not fill it out online, you will have to fill it out with a pen and paper upon entering the building. You will enter school at the 37th Street entrance. Pay attention to the adults in the area who will direct you where to go. You will swipe your ID card at the door as usual. After you swipe, report directly to class. Do not linger in the hallway. Be aware of random temperature checks when you enter the building. Metro cards will be distributed in the classroom. If you lose your Metro card, please visit room 236 for help. So now you might be wondering when you're supposed to come to school and when you should be logging into Google Classroom. You have all been broken up into specific learning groups. Group A is last names A through F. Group B is last names G through O. Group C is last names P through Z and Group D are the students who are learning from home. The school calendar indicates which group should report to school on which day. For example, Group A will come to school on Monday the 21st, and Group B, C, and D should stay home that day. Please follow your teacher's directions about what to do on the days for which you are not in school. The bell schedule is posted on the school website. It has changed from last year, so make sure that you check it. This year, Google Classroom will be an important part of your online learning experience. On our school webpage, there is a link to set up your DOE online account. You must do this to have access to online resources. There's also a link for signing up for PupilPad. Parents and students should activate these accounts for viewing grades and assignments. Remember that when you are in class online, you should behave appropriately. This means raising your hand when you want to speak, refraining from taking videos or pictures of the chat, and treating everyone with respect. Lastly, you might be wondering where you should go if you need help. The Queen's Tech website has many resources and helpful links. When you have a question, a good general rule of thumb is to check the website for the answer before asking one of your teachers for help. You can make an appointment with a guidance counselor if you have any concerns about the upcoming school year. Your teachers also have specific office hours that they will communicate to you in class. Remember, we're all here to help you. Good luck. Oh.